Hello everyone and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. We have another order of operations example. We just have a simple equation here with some mixed operations. Uh, so we'd, I'd like to solve this one together, uh, but if you'd like to take a moment and try to solve this one um, on your own, uh, you can pause the video right now and then we'll come back and work this one out together. All right, well, first of all, um, we need to follow the order of operations convention. And uh, I've covered that in a few other videos, but basically here, uh, in this case, multiplication always has precedence over addition and subtraction. Uh, we don't have any parentheses, we don't have any exponents, uh, but we do have multiplication. And remember, multiplication is just shorthand for addition. So we need to do that first. So 2 times 3 is 6. And so you'll see here we have 2 times 3 is 6, 1 plus 6 is 7, 7 minus 4 equals 3. And that would be the correct answer. Uh, you could double check that on a scientific calculator if you have a cell phone or scientific calculator or if uh, you're using like a Windows computer and you switch it to scientific mode, you can enter this equation in and get 3. Now some cheap calculators and even the standard mode on a Windows computer uh, may not get the right answer. They're not uh, capable of uh, handling multiple operations unless you use memory functions. So uh, that's how it used to be with calculators when you did these kinds of problems. You would actually have to know how to store things in memory and you just had to know the order of operations on your own. But if you are using a scientific calculator or your cell phone, um, they're already set up for order of operations. Uh, basically, uh, uh, other calculators, they use what they call immediate execution mode, and so they're just not they're not set up to handle um, multiple operations like this. So uh, I hope this video has been helpful, and um, see you in the next one.